Kim Kessis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by the one and only Vidal Riley. All right, mate? Listen, how are you? I know, listen, don't look, give me that look. Okay, we're here. I always shout you out on my channel. It's always love. All love. Um, let's just kind of go over a couple of the fights tonight. Obviously, victorious Huey Fury, yep. victorious Chris Eubank, yep. victorious Savannah Marshall. Yeah. Well, exactly what everyone would want, them to get the wins. Chris, we wanted to see him get the proper finish and not the guy not get up off his stool. Savannah books well. Um, Huey, again, we wanted to see him get the finish and not how it ended, but a win's a win. They all move on to the next stage now, so I'm excited to see bigger fights for all of them. All three of them, we want bigger fights. It does seem like that's the case. It seems like yeah, yeah. Huey Fury will be in a bigger fight. It seems like Chris Eubank will be in a bigger fight. And the same with Savannah Marshall. We're hoping maybe the fight but next after that will be the Clarissa Shields yeah. fight and they all look like they can happen they're all in the position to have these bigger fights so now it's just getting them and I think they will I think they will and the fighters are itching for it and also that sometimes brings the best out of the, out of the guys when you know you've got someone across from you that's not really going to test you you might not turn up they will have to turn up if they're in there with higher level opposition so that's what we want to see next I know you're a kind of the go-to man for kind of the next topic but we are expecting the announcement very shortly of Tommy Fury and Jake Paul yeah I've, all I saw on Twitter was Tommy Fury's accepted the deal so he changes his last name if he loses and he gets 500k more if he wins right it's a good incentive and in that it keeps people interested but you can't listen just fight him if you're going to fight him don't do all these little stipulations this is Jake Paul all, yeah, all over isn't it I know, I know but yeah, it's just everyone from that point on you're already giving him, giving him control that's how I look at it you're giving him control you said look do my rules yeah and, and he said yeah okay cool we'll do it but I don't know it's going to be an interesting fight who do you think is going to win well look I'd, I haven't seen any of Jake Paul's opponents that are as confident of beating Jake Paul as I do with Tommy Fury Darryl so Woodley was extremely good he was confident. Okay, but in a boxing me. fight, I'm sorry, but yeah, 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 in a yeah, boxing yeah. fight, listen, in a cage, forget about it. Like, I think listen. Tommy wins. I think Tommy wins. You believe that? I think Tommy wins. Okay. I don't think Tommy's going to make it look like I'm a real boxer and you're you a social media guy and then it's going to be so clear cut, but I think Tommy wins. He'll win clearly, but it's going to be a bit of back and forth and that. It's interesting on, on many levels, don't but... You think, don't you think? Yeah, Tommy, it is. I Tommy's think... going to clear him out. Because Tommy Fury hasn't had the experience at professional level yeah. as uh, as many other fighters. So Tommy Fury going into it is actually, for Jake Paul, the best-case scenario. Because if he's going with someone who's had 20, 30 fights, it's, it could be a different situation. But Tommy Fury and all the Furies are very confident that this is a... A knockout walkover job for Tommy Fury. Listen, he said he's gonna change. He, he said he, he's not changing his last name. Tyson said you gotta change your last name if you can't beat him, which I think is fair. Fair. He's expecting a lot from him. I'm sure he can do it. But yeah, he's putting a lot of extra pressure on his shoulders as well. You can't. Don't he keep throwing out these predictions and stuff. Just train, get in the ring, bang him up, go home. Like that's it. You don't have to do all these predictions and extra 500 this and this. It's too much. You put too much on yourself. That's what I think anyway. We'll see what happens. But listen, great night here in Newcastle, Lovely. as it always is. Um, did, you, did you see me doing my thing, yeah? For the live stream? I didn't see you doing it. No, I saw you doing it. I didn't hear you doing it. How oh, about you, didn't that? Hear me, but you saw me? Yeah. All right, good. Good energy. How you doing, Ben? You're all right. It was good. Very good. Wow, that looked like Ben Shalom. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, he's, what, he's a promoter of Boxer. He brought me in alongside Sky to do the watch along for most of the shows and whatever show I can do. He's happy with the show. Um, and I think the live stream went well as well. Watch it back and let me know what you think. Give Vidal Riley some feedback. Vidal, yeah, thank you. I didn't ask you for all the AFL man to do it. I'll give like you feedback. Your comments in there, they get onto me on your channel. Oh, listen, do. when you win over the YouTubers, when you win over YouTube comments, you're doing all right in life. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Vidal, thank you very much for talking to AFL TV. We'll definitely catch up with you soon. And uh, yes, yes. Take up. thank you very much. And I'm subscribing. Make sure you put your notification bell on for AFL TV. And I'm going to use some more of your stuff from your channel soon. Don't copyright strike me. Please. We'll release that. All right, cool. <laughs>